Welcome back guys, hopefully you watched the video prior to this one about planning your Prezi. If you didn't, I suggest you go back in the playlist and check that one out first. Um, there are links on that video to download all of the content you need for us to build a Prezi together throughout this Prezi for Beginners playlist. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go and check it out, but also look in the comments below to download all of the content you need. But now it's time to get started. So I'm here at my desk. I'm going to take you through how to get started with Prezi. Let's go. So the first thing to mention about Prezi is that you do have access to Prezi desktop. This is my Prezi desktop application here. So I can work offline if I want to. Um, obviously not really necessary to work offline these days at all unless you're on a train with uh, no Wi-Fi or terrible Wi-Fi. But there is a desktop option. All of my presentations you can see are in here. But for the majority of the videos that I'm going to go through with you guys, I'm actually going to use Prezi from my Google Chrome web browser. So let's swipe over here and just log into my account. And you can see um, a lot of the same Prezi's that we saw in the desktop uh, application just a second ago. They are all here. In fact, everything syncs together really nicely. The reason that I prefer to use Prezi via the Google Chrome web browser is because me and my team collaborate an awful lot on Prezi designs. So if we get a really tight deadline, there can be occasions where we have two or three of us working together in the same Prezi at the same time. And actually, Doing that through um, a web browser such as Google Chrome is just much, much easier. So without further ado, getting started, what we see here straight away is our dashboard. This is our Prezi dashboard where we can view every single presentation that we've ever built. Now, if you're starting with Prezi from scratch today, this will probably be empty for you, of course. So let's make a start and press this button here at the bottom, this gray plus sign, and actually start a new Prezi. And you'll see a big list of templates appear in front of you. Now, Prezi templates are a great, great time saver. They are absolutely fantastic if you've got an internal meeting and you don't need to worry too much about having your exact brand colors and everything in place. No one in the outside world or outside of your business is going to see this presentation anyway, but you still want it to be a decent Prezi. Then using these templates are definitely a good Good way to go. Now, whenever I start a brand new Prezi design, because I've done all of my planning and everything up front, I've normally got a really good idea of how this Prezi is going to look. That's really, really clear to me before I go anywhere near the software. So I tend to start my presentations by using the blank white template at the very top of the screen here. So I want you to go and do exactly the same and we're gonna get started building our Ocean Plastics Prezi together. Click on that template and then just press use this template at the bottom of the screen. Great, so the very first thing that I always do is get rid of the big gray circle in the middle. We will get to what that is and what it does a bit later on in our video series together, but for now, let's just remove it. We wanna start from the absolute scratch with things. Now, the very first thing we need to do before we start adding content and getting too carried away with our actual presentation design is go into the style menu at the very top here, and I'd recommend that you click this little button next to colors and actually set up a color theme or a color palette for your presentation. Now there are some already set up for you actually, so this can be really, really useful. But if you want to create a brand new one, or even if you want to set up your company's branding in here, just press create new on the top right. Give this a name. Um, I'm going to call this Ocean Plastics. You can do the same if you want to. And if you have a logo that has all of your company colors on it, which of course it, it would do, you can actually just select to upload 
that logo from your computer. So save it to your machine somewhere and then upload it. And what Prezi will do is quite neat actually, it saves a lot of time. It will pull all of the colors from your logo and populate all of these boxes that we're about to look at below. So in other words, you upload one image, one branded image of yours, and all of your colors will become populated. Now it's not necessarily gonna get everything in the right order. You might want a different colored background, things like that, but at least all the colors will be there for you. So to change these colors, it's really straightforward. All you need to do is click on one of the little color chips, and you can either select RGB, red, green, blue values, or hexadecimal values from the drop down. Again, if you have your branding guidelines in front of you, you can look up those codes, enter them into here, and then you'll have the exact company color. So you're not going to get told off by your marketing department or anyone for being off brand with your Prezi design. Now I'm just going to use the color picker for this because I want to kind of um, have a little bit of fun with this um, and just kind of freestyle things a little bit, which is not what I would normally do, of course, but I'm going to have a dark blue for the background. Now the reason for that is that we're building a Prezi together about the ocean and so I want that to reflect in all of the colors I use. So I'm going to select a color for my topics. Um, maybe I'll have a slightly bl uh, brighter blue for that, something like this. Subtopics, maybe I'll go for something fairly similar but just a little bit darker. There we go. Color for the border color looks good to me. In fact, I might actually just change that to pure white for my borders and my accent colors I'll leave as it is. Now my primary text color is black. I wanna change that because my Prezi is gonna be quite dark. It's all gonna be underwater, it's all gonna be very blue. So I want my primary text color to be white. And as I do that, as I select white, you see that the title and subtitle over here change to white for me straight away, so that's great. I'm gonna have the same color for my secondary text as well. I basically want all of my text in this Prezi to be white. So I'm going to press save to that and now what we can see is that we've got our ocean plastics theme over here on the right. I'm going to click on that, make sure it is selected and the great thing about this is that if you add all of your branding colors uh, and create one of your own palettes here, that will be saved against your Prezi account for good. So every time you build a brand new Prezi, you just come into this list, select the relevant palette and away you go. You won't have to enter all of those colors every single time you do this. Now the next thing we need to do is go back to um, the style menu and set up our fonts. We can actually click the text button just here and we could create a font palette or a font style. So for this again, we could click the create new button and give this a name. Let's call this ocean plastics again because this is for fonts now, not for colors. And we can choose from quite a big list of fonts. There um, isn't the usual things you'd expect like Arial and Times New Roman, but there's a lot of fonts in here that are very similar. And if you want to, you can click more fonts to go through a list of Google fonts and add them to your Prezi account. I'm gonna click on this one, uh, Bebus New and make that my title font. You can see that's changed over here on the left straight away. My subtitles I'm going to leave as they are and my body text I'm going to leave to work sans. So that's that, that's done. I'm going to press save. So I've now got a font style for Ocean Plastics and I've got a color palette called Ocean Plastics as well. Those things should be the very first things you do at the start of every Prezi build, but like I said, once you've done them and you've saved them to your Prezi account, they will be there for you each time. So it's just as simple as going into the style menu, clicking colors or text, choosing the palettes that you've created in the past, and that's done, that style is set for you. What we wanna do next is add our background image. So this is also in the style menu for you here, and if you click on the button next to background, you can, if you want to, do a quick search. So if we didn't have an ocean background image already, 
then we could do a quick search and see what Prezi comes up with. So there are some quite nice underwater images here that would probably work just as well um, in our Prezi design. This one in particular would work really, really nicely. So you can choose from a huge list. There's over half a million images for you to choose from. This is linking directly to the Unsplash library, which is an online image library of stock photography that's all royalty free. But I'm not going to use that image. I'm going to click this button above and click upload image. Now, if you haven't done so already, you should have downloaded some images that I've made available to everyone going through these videos. Um, if you haven't done that, click on the comments below this video and I'll drop the same link that you need to download all of the images that you can see on my screen at the moment. So we've got lots of fish, lots of plastic bottles, there's a shark, a turtle, but the one that we're looking for right now is background.jpg and we're going to click open to that and straight away we will see that that image opens nicely and fills the entire background of our Prezi. There we go. So I hope you found that getting started video useful. What you should have by now is a really good starting point. We should have a lovely background in place, maybe a title and of course all of the colours uh, the colour palette and the font styles set up ready to go. The next video is going to look at how we structure the different content areas. So that's something that we obviously looked at in our planning stage and now we can apply it into the Prezi itself. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, get your alerts on and please, please, please comment below with any questions at all. If anything was unclear, let me know. If there's anything else that you want to know about with Prezi, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the very next video.